Hi, I am NASA astronaut Shane Kimbrough aboard the International Space Station with a challenge. This year during World Space Week, I challenge you to go outside and look at the moon. Go to your local observatory or look up with your own eyes or maybe even make your own telescope. I am calling on my team to get curious and figure out how to do it. Do you want to join the team? Don't worry, you'll have help from me and a couple other important people along the way. Let's do it. Get curious! Step one, meet the rest of the team. I'm Emily, and I'm from West Windsor, New Jersey. Hi, I'm Derek, and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Hi, my name is Zoriel, and I'm from Lafayette, Louisiana. Hi, my name is Trevor, and I'm from Monterey, California. Hi, I'm Sydney, and I'm from Iowa City, Iowa. NASA? Wait, NASA? Who's from NASA? NASA? Please hold for a transmission from the International Space Station. Nice way. way. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Are we ready to go, team? The journey starts in D.C. No way! Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, we got a message. Hey, team, if you're going to build your own telescope, it might help to see how one works first. Head over to the United States Naval Observatory to start your adventure. We gotta go to the observatory. The Naval Observatory was created in 1825 to help the United States learn more about space. When the Naval Observatory was built, they would send out a signal every day at noon to set the time for the country. They still keep time here with the master clock, a super accurate atomic clock that sets the time for the internet. And it's been home to some awesome astronomers. That's Ace of Hall. He discovered the moons of Mars. It has a huge telescope inside that people use to study the stars. Jeff Chester, who runs the telescope, showed us around. He told us that it works by using lenses on both ends of the tube to help focus the light from things that are far away. Sounds like you need to find some lenses and a tube to build your telescope. Why don't you look around the library and see what you can find? Where's the library? Maybe it's down here. Guys, there it is. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa, check this out. There's so many books. This place is huge. Mm -hmm. Let's start looking. Look at that. Whoa. Is that like a necklace or something? Some magnifying glass, I think. Or a lens. Here's another one. We found two lenses. Your next challenge is to find and meet the head of the Space Council. I'll give you a hint. She actually lives at the Naval Observatory. I wonder who the head of the Space Council is. Are you kidding oh, me? The head president. of the Space Council is the Vice President! Kamala Harris is the Vice President of the United States, but she's also the President of the Senate. And the head of the Space Council. Well, welcome, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ready to start? Okay, go. So, I may not always be fast to take my parents' advice, but what is the best advice your parents have given you that perhaps you can share with us today? You know, one of the most important pieces of advice that I can offer you guys, and I want you to really remember this, never let anybody tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. Never let anybody suggest to you that you are what they think you should be. You tell them who you are and who you know you are, and what you intend to be. Got that? Yes. Yeah. All right. I got more advice. You just let me know. <laughs> so what is the most surprising thing you found about being vice president? There have been a lot of things, because I've never been vice president before. So there are, <laughs> yeah. there are, are many new things. But I'll tell you one of the things that I'm really excited about, and one of the reasons for our visit and the time we're going to spend time together today is the Space Council. My mom was a scientist, so she would take us to the lab with her, like on the weekends and after school, because she had to work long hours. And I just love the idea of exploring the unknown. And then there's other things that we just haven't figured out or discovered yet. To think about so much that's out there that we still have to learn. Like, I love that. I love that. And so I'm very excited about the Space Council. We're going to learn so much. Um, as we increasingly, I think, are curious and interested 
in the potential for the discoveries and the work we can do in space. So that's one of the things I'm most excited about. But the other, you guys are gonna see, you're gonna literally see the craters on the moon with your oh, own oh eyes. Oh my goodness. With your own eyes, I'm telling you, it is gonna be unbelievable. So that's one of the things we can do here too, which makes it so exciting. So that's what we're gonna do. You guys ready to go over there? Yes! yes. Come on, let's go! <laughs> we then headed to the Naval Observatory, where we met Captain Keen and asked him what they did there. We do time and we do space. The sky and space has been our clock for centuries. So think of the sun going around the Earth. You can tell time by a sundial or a telescope like this, which watches stars go through its view scope. The same star passes every 24 hours. That's how we used to tell time. Time is very important because everything that you do every day somehow relates to time. Power grids, the internet, Wi-Fi, communications, your cell phones, they all need time to make them work. Are we ready to start our journey through space and time? Yeah. Yay. All right, let's do Thank it. Thank you, Captain Key. Thank you. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna have so much fun with this. Ask any questions that you have also. We then explored the rest of the observatory, trying to find the pieces we needed for our telescope. Look, a tube. This bag might have everything else we need. Good work, team. It's time to make your own telescope. Let's get building. We have two paper tubes, two magnifying glasses, plus scissors and tape. So we start by cutting a cardboard tube. Then we took a magnifying glass and put it at one end. After that, we slid on the second paper tube. We punched out the other magnifying glass and put it at the other end of the tube. Then all we had to do was decorate. Yeah, we did it! Now we get to look through the Naval Observatory's telescope. Jeff told us that looking through in the daylight, we're gonna see a little black dot on the sun. That's a sunspot. It's about the size of the Earth. Wow. So tell me what you saw. It's so crazy just to see like all orange and know that little tiny dot is the size of the Earth that really tells you how huge the sun Isn't is. Isn't that something? It gives us a sense of the magnitude of it all. Earth is kind of small, yeah. <laughs> right? The Earth is like a speck yeah. compared to the sun. What we have designed, I mean, look at the design of this thing. And the people and the smart people and the scientists and the engineers came up with the idea that if you build something that looks like that, you can see the sun yeah. and you can see the moon, right? Well, wait till you guys see the moon. I'm telling you, I just, I don't know what it is about those craters on the moon. <laughs> Always dream with ambition. Have big dreams. You'll remember that? Yes. yes. All right, I'll see you later. See you. Once the sun set, we were finally able to see the moon. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I can't believe how close it looks. I can see the craters. There's one crater that's almost 1,600 miles in diameter. So it's bigger than all the states we come from combined. Seeing the moon up close was incredible and made us all want to keep getting curious and exploring space with our telescopes at home. And share what we were seeing with our families. I can't wait to keep exploring with my telescope. Maybe I can see Mars. Congratulations, Get Curious team. You did it. Remember, the moon isn't the only awesome thing to discover in space. You can also see the Milky Way or Mars, and those are the ones we know. The universe is full of new discoveries to be made, and maybe you'll be the ones to make those discoveries. Just get curious, and who knows what you'll discover. When you were a little girl, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did. 